Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our Selenium quick automation interview series. Today, this question is asked on my Facebook page by Deep Das. Suppose you have opened 100 windows by clicking on links on the parent window. How to over to any window we want to and how to validate we are on the right page. Please note 100 windows. I mean, practically, it's like a very rare scenario. I don't think so that, okay, you are going to click on 100 links and then 100 windows are getting opened. But, okay, they really want to check uh, how exactly you're going to handle certain scenarios at a time of interview, definitely. So, I'm not going to open 100 links or 100 windows, but at least 3-4 windows that we can have it. So, let's see if you go to this application and you open, uh, let's see, LinkedIn page, then Facebook page. Then you can see that these are the social media links are available, Twitter. And then you have to open, let's say, the YouTube page of this Orange HRM application. Okay, just a second. Yeah. So here you can see that, okay, yes, this is what it's available like that. Okay. So what we have to do now, we have to find out, we have to switch to the specific window, what exactly they're looking for and how to validate that also we are on the right page. Okay. So this is what we have to do. So let me just close it. This is the scenario we are handling. Uh, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 windows we are going to handle main window plus 4 uh, child windows so I have already launched this application and then clicking on these links one by one okay for example 4 links but in this example you can consider let's say 100 links or 20 links because the code will be generic in nature so one by one we have to click on all the links this is what this person is talking about that 100 windows by clicking on the links on the parent window okay so this is my parent window and then clicking on these 4 social media links by using the xpath I am clicking on it now I have to create a function, a generic function which will uh, handle all such things. So before that, what exactly I'm going to do that, okay, I'm going to use this driver.getWindow handles method, which will return what, which will return the set of a string and set does not maintain the order. So for example, let's see, this is my handles, I'm going to return. So driver.getWindow handles, which is giving you set of a string and each and every window ID will be unique. This is the property of the get window handles. So it will return five window IDs and it will store inside this particular set. And then I'll do one thing. I just convert the set into a list so that we can do it with the help of list of a string that I'm going to use it. Let's see, this is my handles list, which is equal to new error list. And in this particular error list, we will have the, all the string uh, window IDs. And then I'm going to pass the handles here. <clears throat> okay. And then you import java.util list. Perfect. And then I'll do one thing. I'm going to create a function, which is help me to find out the right window. We have to switch to this particular window. And then I'll say, okay, fine. That uh, my function name is switch to the right window. Right window means the desired window that you're looking for. And then we have to validate that. So switch to right window. But this is saying that you have to give me two things that for on the basis of window title, that which window that you are looking for. And then you give me the list of a string also here. So list of, uh, you know, all the window IDs. So this is the same list I'm expecting over here like this. Okay. So when I call this function, I know that, okay, I want to move to the switch to the Facebook window or YouTube window or whatever, but I really don't know where exactly the number is available. So, uh, let's see, there are hundred links and Facebook is available on the 10th window. Then we have to pass. Okay. I want to go to the Facebook page and this is the list. And then you just switch. Very simple. Then I'm going to create a for loop here. And in this particular for loop, this is my string based E. And then this is my H list. And uh, what exactly I'm going to do that first, I'm going to store the title in this particular title over here. For example, that I first driver dot switch to I'll be using driver dot switch to dot window I'll be using. And then which window ID this particular window handle ID that you must pass it over here and see this window method will return a driver. Okay, so if you remove this line from here, actually, see this. So driver dot switch to dot window. If you see this, this guy is saying, okay, I'll be giving you a web driver. So whatever the handles, the window IDs that we have collected in this list, we are passing it over here. And one by one, we are iterating. So this E is presenting the window ID in this list. And then this window is actually giving you a web driver. So I'll do one thing directly. I can apply dot get title. It means you switch and then you give me the title. And when you give it to me, then I'll store in a string title here like this. Fine. So I got the title of after switching and then immediately I'll compare this title, the title dot, let's see contains. If you're looking for this particular window title, if it is available, then do what? It means this is what 
the expected title or expected window that you are looking for i'll print a message over here that okay system dot order print ln i'll write that found the right uh, window okay and then after that immediately what i'll do that immediately i'll return true from here okay so instead of void i have to write a boolean here which is fine and then once this for loop is also done this is a method return if nothing is getting satisfied finally you return false from here so this method i'll be using it and uh, switch to write window i'll be calling it from here okay so let's make it a static so that you can use it like this and i'm passing what is exactly the window title that you're looking for so let's see when i click on this a uh, facebook page right so the window title is something like this if you can see that uh see this it's having something over here or you can right click on it and go to inspect and then you can search for the title so i can search for the title here see the title of it's this orange hrm world's most this if it is containing or uh, facebook here something like this i'll say okay fine this is my test data facebook title in this particular list okay and this guy will return what this guy will return a boolean so i can write one if condition here okay to generate my scenario so once you switch to the facebook or whatever that you want to do it on facebook let's say i just want to quickly check okay system dot out bin tell give me driver dot get current url plus with some colon and then give me what driver dot get title also you give it to me for the facebook page and that's it okay so what exactly it will do it will switch to this facebook once it is found out of 100 windows and switch and then that's it after that if you really want to close you can use a driver dot close and all such things that also we will write it but let's see till here it's actually working or not so run as java application and uh, <coughs> let's see it is working or not so first it will click uh, click on for the link all four links and then it will switch to facebook only see switch to facebook only perfect and then the moment the facebook is fine it's saying found the right window and this is your facebook title and uh, the url is also getting printed <clears throat> it means this logic is absolutely working fine right but after that what exactly i have to do i have to once my facebook work is done i have to close this particular window or I, or i have to come back to this parent window so in that case you can create another method over here that is okay fine that public uh, static uh, void i can write that switch to parent window right so how will you switch to the parent window i'll simply write driver dot um switch to dot a window and pass the parent window id so i say okay fine this is my uh, parent window id and the same parent window i'll be passing it over here and how will you get the parent window id you get the parent window id the moment you launch okay the moment you launch your uh, url for the parent window that also you can write it so i'll be writing driver dot there is a method get window handle method is available which will return the current page window id and i simply call this particular method that okay fine that you switch to this particular parent window id so that you can come back and you can continue your work on orange hrm that is your main application right guys so this is what we have to do so let's see quickly after switching to the parent window i'll just to verify that okay system dot or print ln the driver dot uh, get current url or maybe i can again print the same line get current url and the get title it means give me the orange hrm title and the url just to make sure that okay we are on the a main parent window or not you can put one if condition also over here so let's run it quickly and let's see it is working or not okay so it will launch orange hrm and then see it is going one by one and then going to a uh, facebook page and then again back to the orange hrm and then it's saying okay fine the facebook page also right window found and from the right window facebook we have captured whatever that we want to capture and then again back to your orange hrm window again back to the parent window but the question here is that again the question is fine this absolutely right how to uh, switch to any specific window that we want to and how to validate that we are on the right page that's why this method will say okay found the right window and validating return true or false on the basis of that we are using this particular if condition over here which is validating that okay current url or current title or whatever you want to do or you can pass the pass also yeah the switch is done properly correctly or something like this switch to the facebook correctly done right so the thing is that when you open all these windows right when you open see the last execution 
all these four or five windows are still open. We have to close all the okay all the windows. So how will you close it? And then again back to the parent window, right? Because hundred links that you are opening or hundred windows that you are opening, it means a huge number of tabs that you are opening like that. So we have to close also one by one. So in that case, what should I do? In that, so what exactly I'm going to do? That I'm going to create another function that is let's see public uh, static avoid closing all windows means you have to give me what. See, I'll tell you. You have to give me the parent window ID because we don't need to close the parent window. Otherwise, what will happen if you start a for loop, right? Most of the people, what exactly they will be doing that? The, let's see, string e, and then we have to pass one list of a string that is your uh, h list also, right, guys? Because we have to pass the window handler list also. So in this particular e, in this handler list, I'll put one condition that if I can write one condition that if if this e dot uh, let's see equals to what the parent window ID, right, guys? Then you don't need to close the parent window. If it is not, then you have to close the other window. So what you can do is you can write driver dot switch to dot pass e over here, switch to that particular window, and then you just close it also like this. You can write it like this. So and then you have to close all the windows once your Facebook work is done. So simple close this window, pass the H list and whatever the window ID that you have captured the first time, you just need to pass it over here. So let's see if this is actually working or not. So run as Java application. First, it will open all the windows. It will go to the Facebook, capture the Facebook details and then close one by one everything and then back to the orange HRM. So let's see if this is working or not. Okay, so here see it is fine and then closing and then back to orange HRM and then absolutely working fine and back to orange HRM. Perfect. So this is how you can write a generic code like this. Okay, guys, the only thing you can improve, you can think about it that okay, switch to the right window because let's see there are hundred windows are there and you have to switch to the 90th window, for example. So in that case, one by one, this for loop will start. It will give you the time complexity of O of N. One by one, it will go there and then it will switch that. What you can do, you can hear, you can use the concept of a streams also. You can think about it and write down the solution with the help of a streams because you can write one parallel stream and with parallel stream, you can match if the title contains the required window title and then immediately you return. Return true from there like that. That also you can do that. So you can save at least some time with the help of parallel stream with Java 8. But this is also fine according to this particular scenario. Okay, so I hope you like the solution. If you have any other solution in your mind, feel free to write in the comment section. I'll definitely have a look. But uh, these are the questions that are very common at a time of interview, especially for the window handler, handling APIs, window handler, five windows are there, 100 windows are there. You have to switch to the specific window. How will you do that? So that's all for this particular video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and please, please subscribe to the channel, like, share and uh, click on the notification bell icon to get the notification for the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and God bless you all.